everybody. It is now week five, our final week in weight loss coaching basics. You know, I've done this series because I really wanted to give you a glimpse of what it would be like to work with a coach. What kinds of things do we work on? How do we get into mindset? What difference does that make around weight? But I think that if you haven't caught it already, the key is this. However you think is what is going to make the difference. And so if your brain is unsupervised, if you haven't learned, go back to the, the beginning. If you haven't, if you're catching this at the end, go back. Cause I started with learning about awareness and watching your brain work, becoming the observer. And so you want to start developing these skills because your brain is very powerful and it creates what you focus on. How do I know? Well, Wherever you are right now came from your thoughts, your current situation, your current life, what you have right now came from how you think about things. So if you went to college, got a degree, went out and got a job, somewhere in your thinking, you believed that that was possible for you. It wasn't that you didn't believe it was doable because if you didn't, you wouldn't have done it. You went out and did that because you believed it was possible. This is either you thought this is what I'm supposed to do. This is what's normal. This is how we do things. This is what has to be done to get to where we need to go. This is what I need to get the job I want to get, whatever it is. Like there's, there was, you believed it, you went and did it. So much of what we create in our lives, especially around weight, is unconscious. There's certain beliefs we have about how food should be used or um, why we eat at all. Occasions and celebrations and rewards and comfort and all kinds of reasons that we give ourselves for why we eat. And we learn that over the years. And the way you know that that's the truth is because if you ever look at a baby or a toddler, they eat for hunger only. You can't stuff more food in a toddler who doesn't want to eat anymore. If that baby says, I'm full, that's it. You're wasting your time. You can stop right there. They don't want anymore. But we chronically overeat. We chronically eat for reasons that have nothing to do with our stomach asking for food. And then we teach our children actually to do the same thing. It actually becomes a legacy issue. So that's a whole nother discussion. We're not going to get in that today. But some of it is just embedded thinking that we don't recognize is happening. And then we create the reality of what we actually think. Like we think it's normal to whatever. It's normal to eat when you go to a party. It's normal to have a glass of wine with dinner. It's normal to have dessert whenever you go out to dinner. None of that is true. You've just decided that's the way you do things and you can change it. But if you have enough of those thoughts, then you create exactly where you are right now. Wherever that is, whatever it is that you are working with, if it's 50 pounds overweight, if it's 20 pounds overweight, if it's, you know, I'm, I'm eating in a way that, that doesn't serve my body and I, I know it, I'm, I'm creating health issues for myself. You have a series of thoughts that have led to that result. Now, this is not a matter of blame. I want to be really clear. I'm not shaming anybody. There is no blame here. Almost all of this for almost everybody is completely unconscious. It's stuff we've picked up over the years. It's options our brain has offered us that we have agreed with. We don't know and we didn't know. So this is not, oh, you're at fault for, for whatever this is that, you know, whatever the number on the scale is or whatever the size clothes that you're in that you, that you don't want to be in. This is not about blame. But when we recognize that our thinking actually produces the results we have, 
And we recognize that we have 100% agency over our thinking. We get to pull the strings. We get to change the thinking. We get to change everything that comes after the thought, which produces our result. Then we have 100% control. We get to have ownership. We can look at the situation and go, oh, this is what I have and this is what I want. And I'm going to now shift my thoughts into creating the new thing that I want. Moving from this into that. It's a matter of mindset. So I know that sounds super simple. It is super simple. It's not easy. I say that a lot. It's true. But it can be done. Because whatever you've been thinking that's created where you are right now, you will continue to create that going into the future unless your thinking changes. And as your thinking changes, you create different results. It's how you have done things actually a lot of your life. You started out with very little information. You gathered information. You learned things. You heard new thinking. You decided you believed certain things. And you used those to create what you have become. As adults, though, we get to make a decision actively to create new things in our lives. And so that actually is what coaching helps you do. It, it can be really intricate, all the different thoughts in your brain and how do we sort it all out and figure out where to focus to move into the new place. That's what coaching does. That's exactly what we do. We actually start to go, okay, let's figure out where we're at. And let's figure out what we want. Well, what would propel us for, what thinking propels us towards the new result? And then we start to learn how to think that way instead of the default, the old way, which created the current result. So all that being said, if you have figured out either you knew already, you've been telling yourself you need a coach, You've been watching these videos for a long time. I've had so many people say, I've been watching. And finally, I just decided to reach out to you. It's okay. Come on in. Send me an email. Email me at drandreachristianparks at gmail.com. Let's set up a consultation. You don't have to keep staying in the current result. We can move to the new one. And I can help you. So join me and we'll get started so we can see if we're ready to work together. I think you are and I can help. So come on, email me and let's talk and we'll figure this out together. I will see you for the next time. We will come up with a whole new thing that we're going to be talking about in the next series. 